Morning, Anna. Morning, Didge. Now those are some shiny machines. I'd say those boys did a nice job yesterday. I, I never did get inside the dryer, which means I have to do it today. <laughs> Thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. I'm all alone today. I have no Jim, I have no dad, there's no 2.0 or Josh or Alan. Just me and the hound dogs and this cat that keeps following me everywhere. <sighs> I'll do the stuff I hate first. Get it done. No, this isn't the thing I hate, but the skid loader had this attachment on it, so I'll get this out of here first. May as well get this up in the yard and get it parked somewhere decent. Again, with that shed missing, we've just been kind of parking stuff willy-nilly along the driveway and behind the bins and out in the north field, just everywhere. I just got word that the truck bringing the trusses for the new shed is gonna be here in one hour. So I'm gonna go move some equipment around just to make dang sure he's got the room that he needs. I think I'm gonna to have to squeeze this into a different spot in the shed. Or at least to accomplish what I want to accomplish. Anna, a million subs. We're not there yet. People are dragging their feet. She's pretty disappointed. She's, she's really disappointed. Quick sweep of the floor in this area. Now some people are going to make fun of this machine and call me a typical millennial and say that I don't want to manually sweep, but this is dad's machine. I don't know. We'll see if we can squeak it in here. Oh, that was easy. Like a glove. With everything getting washed yesterday and the temps coming down in a couple days, I want to have a bunch of stuff in here so that the bearings can dry out and just keep the dust off them or whatever. Keep them nice. I do still have some work left to do with the Mendeco Storm here, but we did wash or had the 9570 washed. The cat dog, that's not a cool place to hang out. You shouldn't be there. If you don't move, I'm gonna have to start calling you numb nuts instead. You don't want that. Okay, that's moved. Unfortunately, I've still got some time before the truck gets here, so I guess I'll shovel. is not in the correct direction for these shenanigans. There it is, hound dogs. 72 foot trusses. I'll let him unstrap those things while I do a little shoveling. Here, you wanna take this and help out? Do something useful? You know, you could do something besides rub against my legs all day. Jeez. These cats nowadays, just so entitled. Uh, he just shortened up his wheelbase for now. That's cool. You said a lot of swearing to me when you went outside, like right in this area. I did, didn't I? Here he goes, Isla. Well, that was kind of neat, huh? The door broke right there. Oh, I don't think. Oh, that was just the bottom pieces, I think, that were protecting the, oh. the actual pieces. Mom's home with Onyx. Yeah, and I don't know if they brought you lunch or not, but they brought me some. She doesn't like to eat the same things I do, so I, I have no idea. Yeah. They probably do. I'm not that hungry. You're not that hungry? Spiro, what are you doing? Why do you pretend you're scared of me? You're not scared of me. You're not scared of Isla, are you? All right, Anna, we're gonna go on a big ride all the way to the house to get lunch. Great big giant ride. Great big giant ride. All right, that's enough lunch. Even though it was delicious, thank you, Becky. It's time to get back to work, I guess. I'm gonna go up there and hope that my leaf blower's got enough power to kind of clean the tops off since we aren't gonna pressure wash it because it's just really not that dirty. Maybe I'll stand on the other side of the wind. Hmm. 
Leaf blower's a little disappointing. I'm not that surprised. So now I'm gonna go down and get the, uh, you see that little scraper down there? It's not gonna be fun to carry up the ladder, but I'll get it here. That dog laid there the whole time I made all this mess. She's a dirty dog. It's a long ways from perfect, but it sure beats being up here when it's 20 degrees out and I'm in a man lift thing with a pressure washer on Thanksgiving day. I've done that a couple times. Now if we ever get any rain again, it'll wash the top of that off. That's pretty clean, close, close enough. scraping and shoveling and leaf blowing today. But we've never had a clean around here. So that's neat. Thank goodness Josh took about 90% of this stuff. Otherwise I'd really have a, a ways to go. I'm going in. You guys couldn't even see any of that, could you? It's hard to throw tools up above your head with one arm and take video with the other. <laughs> Really, cat dog? He's everywhere. So the top plenum here, there's not a whole lot in here. It's mostly really fluffy stuff that just blows around if I even have to keep this door open. But as it sits here over winter and we get rains next summer, that'll all turn into crusty stuff. So I kinda gotta get it out of here. It's so light, you can hardly even work with it. That'll do. I hate this job so much. Middle one here is not not nearly as bad, but I can't quite stand up in it. There's another one finished up, and the worst one is right here. It's got 10 times more stuff than the other two combined, and I can hardly even sit on my knees in here. <laughs> How can I delay this another week or two? I need a shorter shovel because that one's too long for in there. I'm not even recording this. I'll see you guys in a bit. There we go. An hour and a half later, my knees are killing me from crawling around on that metal. I made a mess down there. At least now that I've knocked all that out of the inside of the dryer, I get to shovel it again. You know what, I'll, I'll just come back when I got something cooler to talk about. Hey, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after a word from today's sponsor. All right, guys, it's that time of year. Yeah, the time of the year where you get snow on a dog's back. Oh, did I just time travel in the middle of one of my videos? Yeah, I sure think you did, Zach. I got a lot of snow on my back. You guys have all heard the story about a couple of winters ago when I left here early in the morning and that shed door over there got left open, causing the temperature to plummet inside here. Luckily, Simply Safe alerted me because I have a temp sensor hanging right there on that post. They called me, let me know the temperature was really alarmingly low in the shop. I was able to log on to the camera that I've got up there on the half wall and I could see Indeed, the door was wide open. And of course, it was 30 degrees below zero Fahrenheit that day. So I raced home, got the door shut, all was good. You guys have also heard the story about last summer when we got about seven inches of rain in one day with the major storm that blew our shed away, which is why this equipment is in here right now because they are building our new shed. In that storm, our basement, it didn't flood because Simply Safe, their little water sensor let us know that we were getting water in the basement. I was able to get the sump pump fired up, get things going right away, and we probably saved, we saved a lot of stuff in our house that day. Simply Safe has got all kinds of stuff. They've also got panic buttons, motion detectors, glass break sensors, smoke alarms and carbon monoxide detectors. They literally have everything you need to make sure that your home or place of business is secure and is safe. You can log in on the outdoor or the indoor cameras. You can check it all out any time of day 
It all connects right to your phone over the app. For less than $1 a day, we get 24 seven monitoring around the clock. If anything happens, they will dispatch the local police, the EMTs, the fire department, whoever needs to be dispatched, they will send them right out here. To our house. Setup is easy, it comes right to your door, it takes about 15 minutes. Any idiot, including myself, can set this stuff up. There are no long term contracts, there are no hidden fees. To save up to 50% off on Simply Safe's biggest sale of the year right now, all you have to do is check out the link in the description or visit simplysafe.com slash millennial farmer. There's no safe like Simply Safe. You know what? Let's go back to the part of the video where the weather is nicer. All right. It's a new day, new morning. I'll be honest with you guys, it's, it's been like at least a couple of days. But we got a few things going on today. It sounds like the weather is gonna change in a big hurry, like tonight and into tomorrow. So we're gonna finish up some tillage. Right, let's just get to it. And the new shed starts today, like right now, on this day. They're already over there staking it out and making sure everything is dead on. <laughs> Here we go, finally. The first most important thing that I need to do to help these guys out while they build this shed is to set this GoPro up with a time lapse. It's gonna need to run like all day every day for three weeks, but I think it's gonna turn out pretty cool. There we go. That's gonna keep track of our progress here. Things are gonna look a lot different from this corner in a couple of weeks. Almost forgot to actually hit the record button. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't done that before. See this pile of bean stubble here? Yeah, I want that gone. Luckily, I got my uh, portable tillage tools here. This stuff should be dry, so hopefully it disappears. Perfect, right at the pickup. Well, it is doing something anyway. See if we can get it to pick up here, go a little faster. That'll work. That'll go through everything a lot easier. I don't know exactly what happened, but it got somehow hung up on the uh, anhydrous, the applicator bar, and when he picked up on the end, it dumped it all here. It's tough to spread that out and work it in, so we're just gonna do it this way. Now I got a whole pile of shields laying down here for the combine. It's quite a pile of them. I don't even think they'll all fit in the pickup, but we'll see. If you watched the previous videos, these are here because Nate and I went through and dug all the crud out of the combine and cleaned it off before we had it washed. Now if I can just figure out where they all go again, it would be fantastic. One, two shields. Ah, ah, ah. The shields are all on. My next move, I'm gonna go spray some uh, stuff to protect our new air system over the winter. The tolerances inside this air system are really, really tight. You do not want to let these fins sit and just kind of get, you know, not in. Anyway, come on, man. So I am legitimately going to roll it over just by turning this belt here. That moves this a little bit. More than you'd think it would. See, watch. Watch here. I'll show you. You guys, you see that? So I'm gonna soak those down and make sure they don't tighten up because we've had that happen and that's just not a good deal. Come on. Well, that's done. I figured I'd show you guys our new backhoe in action because you didn't get to see it much. I did pull up one big rock with it and I've got one more, I mean, there are thousands more but I have one more specific one that's been bothering me for a couple of years. So we're gonna take this out to the field and see what it can do. Sorry, Anna. One million subscribers, all we got is like another 40,000 to go. It's not that difficult. All you gotta do is hit subscribe. YouTube doesn't send you anything. I don't send you anything. All it does is help me out in the algorithm a little bit, but if you guys wanna be selfish and Keep Anna here out of the tractors. Well, that's on you. See this rock? This rock down here? This pointy son of a gun? I've always hated this thing. It's right in from a field approach, too. Which is why I stuck this flag in here this year. I'm gonna get rid of that rock today. You guys are gonna notice that I'm uh, extremely inefficient at operating a backhoe. 
I have no experience. We have never had a backhoe around the farm. I have never really done this before, other than one rock I dug out like a week ago. So, here we go. So don't judge me out there, all right? I know there's a lot of people watching who have run a ton of backhoe. Not me. And this rock is going to be much bigger than what we see on the surface. Which I knew, I expected. Could be a project. I think, honestly, I think that's probably just too heavy for this hole, that's a big rock. The last one I kind of built a ramp and I was able to roll it out and pull it up, but I think the easiest and fastest thing to do here is just gonna be to dig a deeper hole and shove that rock down in it. I think that's gonna be my best plan of action. We'll give it a little more RPM here, see if that helps us out or not. I wanted it. I got it spun quite a bit different, got it set down in there. It should be, I bet it's 18 inches deep now once I cover it up. So I think that's, that's probably deep enough. It is much warmer inside this tractor. Push my clay in there first. And the black dirt next. Can I get a uh, grilled chicken buffalo wrap, please? Okay, and what would you like for your size? Uh, fries. Here's our last 10 acres of tillage for the year. Dad's finishing up this little home piece with the Mendeco. What do you think, Anna? She doesn't care that much. I'm sorry, Didge, we went without you. You wanna you want hop in for just like 30 seconds? All right, go ahead. I'll bring you all the way back to the yard. Okay, out. <laughs> Didge wants another ride. Come on, Didge. Come on, out. No, Anna, Anna. Oh, you numbskulls. You two are just off your rockers. All right, well, I'll see you later. You just kind of hang out in there with the doors open. They are getting a bunch of holes dug, and I would imagine they're going to try to get some poles set today. Poles and holes. There are so many open-ended jokes right there, I didn't even... I, I apologize for that. Next thing we're going to do, because the weather is going to get bad here, we're going to get the grain cart off, unhook it, we're going to reshuffle this whole shed. Another one of those shuffling deals. Uh-oh. I can't get through that. I could get through there. Five to four, where do you think we should put this grain cart? I don't really know. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice if we leave it in the gravel in the yard if we're gonna hook it up, maybe. Huh. Have you seen this yard lately? Literally at noon they said it was snowing out in South Dakota a little bit already. It's probably
pretty dark to the dark to the uh, south and the west. I'm gonna unfold the auger just so that the rain and snow goes over it instead of in it. back up a little bit uh hard maybe yeah you do or i can that pin's got a pretty good wear spot you can pull it out until it gets to the wear spot and then it's catching is it off, it's off. i kind of think we should move the combine and the four-wheel drive to the north bay and then put the smaller tractors over in the the bay we use more Okay. Right. Here's the view from the back wall of the shed, or what will be the back wall of the shed here. Doors are open. Let's light the fires. Well, first I gotta move that. It just makes more sense to put the combine and the big tractor over here because everything's more out of the way over in this north bay here. I could make things out of clay and lay by the bay. What do you say? She thick. Did I say that right, kids? Well, looks like the service truck needs a little service. We got it. We're very mechanical. Actually, we just used a shot of ether. Dad decided he wanted it in here the other direction. That'll do it. I can't squeeze through that. Kind of at a weird angle, though. It's at kind of a weird angle. The back end is over to the south. Do you want it to do it straight or do you need it straight? Well, both. I wanted it straight, but I think it's okay. Okay. Anna, Anna, come here. She thinks I'm going towards the ranger. No, I didn't get in the ranger. Ha. Uh -huh. Oh, musical tractors. Well, we had to run over here to get a pallet, so figured I'd take a peek at what we're dealing with here. They haven't told me they ran into any big rocks yet. Now, I don't want to take the backhoe off yet, but three or four days of rain and snow and really cold temperatures, I think I'm going to be done with it. And I think I may need a snowblower. Come on. 
it'd sure be sweet if we had a big new shed to put that in. I'm not picking on those guys. They actually brought a crew in from a couple hours away, so that's going to help us out a lot. What are you doing? Cleaning up before the snow comes. Good. Okay, here. That's the exact spot I had in mind. <laughs> now we can get everything else out. Of right. It's cool. I'll, I'll walk again. Hey, there's a concrete truck that just drove in. That's cool. And expensive. But I've already paid for that. Hold it. Hold it. dog where you been all day hmm there you are now, now you're in focus all right you're on my sockets here, all right come up here come here let me close my sockets there dad's got to run but now at least I can get the snow blower and the snow bucket on myself so that helped a lot you want to bring me to that truck yeah because yeah, now I can get the blower and the bucket on myself Oh, that's right. You can't. Yeah. Please start. Please start. Well, the key's in it. Makes a squealy noise. <laughs> yep. It's not going to start. Not even close, is it? No, not even close. Luckily, we're parked 100 feet from a mechanic shop here, so we've got a guy coming with some jumpers, but uh, I don't know. We put brand new batteries in this thing this last spring, so they're six, eight months old. It took some doing, but... We got it. Thank you. Dave, I think his name was. Thank you for the help. I think I'll drive this thing straight into the shed with the hopes of putting new batteries in it. Well, they gotta have a bunch of poles concreted in now. <laughs> I'm stacked in here. The diesel nozzle didn't click out when I tried to put it in the 61 and then I dumped a bunch of diesel all over so I brought it over to the pressure washer and then the pressure washer took a crap so that isn't working now. And then I got the three point raised too high and it wedged itself in there so I'm gonna have to get the forks on top and force that down again. And now Becky just called and apparently she forgot something for the kids so I parked my truck in here about 28 seconds ago. Well, we'll see you guys later.